Welcome to Complexity Made Simple. My name is Paul Allen and the subject of today's video newsletter, well, what we're going to do is we're going to have a look at a software tutorial, this time though using Minitab as our software of choice. Hope you enjoy it. Welcome to Complexity Made Simple. My name is Paul Allen. And today's tutorial, today's mini tab tutorial, is going to be all about the Taguchi L12. How to analyze the Taguchi L12. Now what I've got here is a DOE set up in Excel. Here's the L12 pattern. We have seven variables at two levels. It's based on the catapult that you get in most Six Sigma courses. So that area there is the seven factor uh, array. Over here in the yellow fields are the 48 results that we got when we fired the catapult. And on the far side, of course, we have the mean and the standard deviation because we're always trying to understand how a variable moves the mean, how a variable moves the standard deviation. We're always trying to do that in manufacturing. That is how you think statistically. Mean, standard deviation, one on its own is not enough. We need to think statistically. Now you can see that this is set up in Excel. I've set it up in Excel just so that you can see it. I've obviously got to create the same thing in Minitab and I'm going to create the pattern first then I'm just going to copy the data across and show you how to simply analyze a Taguchi L12 using factorial plots only. It is a screening DOE and therefore we only need factorial plots. Let's go to Minitab. So here we are in an empty mini tab sheet. Now I've got to I've got to create the pattern first of all. So go stat DOE Taguchi create Taguchi design. This is how many factors do you have? Seven. Once I've selected seven, I can go to designs and it gives me the choice. The L12 is always my screening design of choice. Up to 11 factors can go in the L12. Then once I've chosen that, now I can name the factors. So it's going to be angle. The two angles, 160, 180. Then we have the stop position, 2 and 3. Then we have the pin position, two and three. Then the elastic, oh no, I think it's the cup, the cup position. Cup position was four and five. Then it's the elastic position, two and three. Then of course I have the possibility of some categorical factors, so supplier one versus supplier two, etc. So the first one of course is ball type. And I'm gonna leave that as one and two. And I'm gonna leave it as operator. And I'm gonna leave that as one and two. And then I can just click okay and I can just click OK and look it just creates the array for me now of course what Minitab is waiting for is some data to appear somewhere over here and it doesn't matter with Minitab it doesn't matter where you put the data so in this uh, page of course the the data is coming from the yellow fields 
and it's got to go in the yellow fields but in Minitab I can put the data anywhere I like so let me just paste the data in and there it is and because it's Taguchi it's perfectly happy putting this in as a nice table for me now I always want the data in tables whether I'm doing full factorials or Taguchi designs it's just nice to be able to look across a row and see that you haven't made a complete Horlix of one of the tests. So to be able to look across the, the pattern is really important in manufacturing. I know in science they want to randomize and they want to blind you to the results. So there's no bias in the test. Um, there's no reason for bias in a manufacturing test. So having this nice array is fantastic. So now let's go and analyze this Taguchi design and just create some factorial plots only. DOE, Taguchi, analyze the Taguchi design. Now it says, where, where is the data? In those four, it's in those four columns. Then I can click through the things and say, well, okay, what graphs would you like? Do you want the signal to noise? No, I don't. Do you want the mean and the standard deviation? Yes, please. So that's what it's going to do for me. It's going to look and create those, those mean results and those standard deviation results for me. Click OK. Let's have a look. Analysis. Now, I don't want any analysis. I just want the graph. So I'm just going to switch those off. Terms. Well, in a screening DOE, you only want main effects. Otherwise, I'm going to saturate this design. I, I have got enough room for some two ways if I really wanted them. But it's a screening DOE. This DOE is not set up to analyze interactions. And then I can just click do it for me and now look because of what I've asked for I just asked for graphs it doesn't call them factorial plots but this is exactly what they are so let me let me pop out the mean graph I will put it over there if I scroll down here the standard deviation graph let me pop that out slide it just over there perfect now this is fantastic because look on the right hand side what factors were driving my standard deviation well the ball selection and the operator seem to be driving the standard deviation now you always need to keep an eye on the scale on the far side this is inches by the way we were firing a ball and measuring the inches so each one of those is going to add around about an inch to the standard deviation so that's going to create about four to five inches of variability so that's quite a lot actually so we would want to select ball type one and operator one in order that this process is well controlled that's what we do with the standard deviation graph the rest of the variables i will leave alone even though the pin could be influential I'm going to leave it alone. I'm just going to pick the two big effects. Don't get too greedy with standard deviation. Now let's go to the average graph, the means graph. Now here, all we're interested in is the fact that there are three. Whoops, didn't want to do that. There are three variables here that the process is very sensitive to. We are going to isolate those now and put them in a second experiment, a two to the three full factorial so that we can model this process. So we've agreed where to fix the ball. We've agreed where to fix the operator. We need to agree where to fix the cup and the elastic because these are the two we haven't decided yet. So let's say we fix them low for cheapness at four and two. And then what we do is we do another DOE, eight run, two to the three full factorial, and we model those three variables so that we can hit any target for the customer. Now that is the Taguchi L12. 
it is simply a factorial plot analysis only very simple very easy quickly we've controlled the standard deviation very quickly we've isolated the three biggest effects so we can now model them analysis using Minitab on the Taguchi L12 okay well I hope you enjoyed that little tutorial on that subject if you've got any questions about Minitab that you want me to help you with or indeed any questions about Six Sigma uh, at all or indeed lean please drop me a message either in the comments below please subscribe also um, but you can also leave me an email if you send me an email on any question and you need a little bit of advice I'm more than happy to help you out and of course if you want me to come and help you inside your factory fix a technical problem please drop me a line I hope to hear from you soon